Venus flytraps, just like these, can eat almost any insect or spider out there. So anything like an ant, a beetle, a fruit fly, a cricket, those are all suitable options for Venus flytraps. But overall, I do have some general recommendations of what you should feed your plant. So for example, I try to steer clear from any type of insect that might have a very hard shell, like for example, snail. Also, slugs, I haven't, actually I have never fed a slug, a slugs to my Venus flytrap because I was always concerned maybe the slugs will be able to eat the leaves from the plant. I'm not sure if you have tried it. Um, I also steer clear from general like pollinators or so anything like a butterfly or a, or a ladybug just because of their important role. Um, so within the insects and all the available options that there are, I do recommend crickets, mealworms or any type of insect that has a lot of soft tissue and is highly nutritious. Those two that I mentioned, the crickets and the mealworms, are really great because you don't have to go outside to go, try to find them. Uh, of course you can, but you can also find them pretty readily available in almost any type of pet store and even online. You can buy them dead or alive and you can just have them available to be able to feed your plants at, at any point. It is really only necessary to feed your plant once every two to six weeks to be able to see some of the benefits, see the growth, see those nice colors, and really promote uh, division and, and propagation. What is really more important about feeding is what never to feed your Venus flytrap. And these rules are very easy to follow. Just always stick to an insect and a spider diet. Never uh, feed your Venus flytrap any type of human food. So anything like candy, fruit, meat, regardless if it's raw or cooked, your plant won't be able to digest it. So then that food is just going to end up rotting within the leaf. The leaf is going to turn black and then the leaf will end up dying. So you're really not gaining anything and then ending up with some food that is rotting within your, within your plant. You can actually watch a cool experiment I found um, in, a, in a video from an art creator where you can see an experiment of what happens exactly when you're feeding uh, raw meat to your fly trap. So that is quite interesting. And also you can actually view these Venus fly traps in action um, in my next video on Venus fly trap feeding. And please like this video to support the channel if you liked it.